Come on in, come on in. Come there's space at the table. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. I'm pumped up. It's another sunny. Let's breathe in. Let's say it from the belly. It's knockout time, baby. Come on. Nothing but motivation. Man, I, I'm excited. Let me let me let me say this to you. And and let me explain to you something that I know that you've been working on your goals. I know you've been working on your dreams. We are in the second quarter of 2023. And some of you uh, are falling short. Like you, you started out going to the gym. Like the, the, third, the, the second quarter is one of the hardest, hardest part of actually carrying out what we said we're going to do in the th first quarter into the second quarter. So, so I want to tell you something about momentum, right? I want you to hear this. It's called momentum. Now, you never get to momentum if you don't stay consistent. I, I want you to get this. You never get to momentum if you never stay consistent. And the problem with you is you are just about to get to that, that, that goal, to that dream. But the problem is you never build the right momentum. So let me tell you this. Like Michael Jordan is like one of the greatest uh, basketball players in the world. And, you know, we see him with six rings, right? And, and you ask why? Because even when he was sick, that's when he performed at the highest level. Why? Because he built momentum and he understood what it took that when the pain comes, his body just goes into natural mode. His body is so accustomed to it that he sticks with it and he becomes like, like, like that superstar to get the six rings. So, so let me say this to you. You have to stay consistent and understand that this consistency is building momentum. And some of you are not consistent enough, so you never get to momentum. So let me tell you this. In the second quarter, I want you to say, look, I am going to stay consistent and I'm going to bring it closer to doing it more often. Because if you could become consistent and, and repeat it, over and over again more often instead of doing like four times a week we're going to do seven times a week we, instead of doing three times a week we're going to do it seven times a week and we understand that building momentum is going to get us to where we want to be the question is how bad do you want to succeed like how bad do you want to build momentum so that you can have your dreams so that you can have your goals if you can get to a point where you realize that the pain does not stop you from being great, from being phenomenal, from being amazing. What it does is it tells you that you are making muscle. The pain says that, that, that you're, make, you're getting closer. The pain says that when you add more weight, you understand that becoming, you're changing. So somebody say, I'm going to be consistent. Like for real, for real. Like I started out, man, I ain't got no backyard, but I started out making videos in the park, wherever it is in the world. And now I'm getting booked to speak. I'm getting paid to speak. I understood that I had to stay focused. I had to stay humble. I had to be consistent. I had to get to a position where I know that in order for me to build momentum, I had to be the winner and the champion that I am. So all I need you to do is say, I'm going to build momentum. And I guarantee you that everything that you truly desire will surely come to pass. It's your boy, Dr. G, the Love Motivator. Safe from the belly. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out of here.